Today, I'm going to be putting you guys on this Premiere Pro export settings secret. Now, very quickly, before I hop into this, this video is sponsored by my editing packs. If you guys are looking for a quick and easy way to level up your visuals while saving time on your projects, my website is the place to go. We have crazy drag and drop 3D assets that require no render time whatsoever, crazy colors for your videos on there, and also super unique transitions, presets, and much more that you guys can find to help spice up your visuals. But without further ado, let's hop right into this tutorial. All right, guys, so we have Premiere Pro here. We just have this gunner music video that i've been working on it's coming out this friday if you guys want to go check it out so if you guys are looking to export your final project a quicker way to do it is to press ctrl m on your keyboard once you press ctrl m this whole export settings tab will pop up and you can just go ahead and click a preset one that you have so i have the music video highest quality preset right here and then going here you can pick where you want it to be saved but the topic i want to get into for this video is actually sending your video to export in media encoder instead of just exporting it through premiere pro and let me show you guys why so we're just going to click send a media encoder here here, and it's going to open it up. When you guys install Premiere Pro through the Adobe Creative Cloud, it's going to download Media Encoder as well. If you guys haven't been using this, I highly recommend it. My boy Brian actually put me onto this tip. All right, so once Media Encoder is open, it's going to open the project in here. As you guys can see on the right side here, we have stop, stop, fail. Just ignore these. You guys aren't going to have these. These are just projects that I didn't go through with rendering. And boom, we have Oh My God right here. You can change the codec right here. You can change your preset right here. And you can change where you're saving it right here. And then it's going to say ready. Make sure you guys have gpu acceleration cuda on right here basically the difference between these two is this bottom one here is only going to use your cpu to render while the top one is going to use your graphics card and then make sure you have auto computer shutdown off now you're just going to hit this green button right here to start the render and a really cool thing about this right here is let's say you're rendering a video and you need to pause it because you have to do something else on your computer you can go up here and just hit the pause button and boom it is literally paused and you can continue it and hit pause so if you have stuff you have to do in your computer that takes a lot of your computer's power you can just go ahead and pause your renders right here and this also renders a lot faster than just rendering inside of premiere pro i've witnessed it myself it's super fire i hope you guys enjoyed this super quick video if you guys want to see more videos just like this i have two banger tutorials linked above and make sure you guys subscribe as well as i'm going to be dropping a video every single day going into the next couple of months if you guys do want to level up your edits and learn faster this is the channel to be at thank you guys so much for watching and i'll catch you guys in the next one